After subscribing, hit the bell icon and never miss an update from Chetna Kalyan. Hey dog, say hi to the vlog. Hey. Hey, how's you? I'm good. I'm good. How's you? <laughs> Babri, you're so happy. <laughs> say something. Say something to the vlog. Do pay gone do. Do pay gone do. Fir sab bolta hu. So dog and me are having a very gala time and fun time together. And I'm really blessed to have people. No matter how rude I behave, how abusive I behave, but people are still there with me, and I so feel blessed to have people like. Oh, 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 look at him. <laughs> so I'll get you guys at my place. Juices. What's going on, YouTube? If you don't know who I am, I'm Chitna Kalim, and it's a weekly vlogging channel regarding flirt date, love, relationship, friendship, or any bit kind of question. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and leave a like and leave a comment for whatever suggestions you do have. And today we'll be discussing about Tinder after a very long time. So I'll be telling you about where three important aspects about Tinder. So the three aspects are your profile, what do you expect from Tinder, and taking conversation to another level. So this one particular mistake that you make on your Tinder profile is to upload pictures that are in group. I mean, like one photograph of group is all right, one or two. Not more than that. Imagine you're visiting a profile and there's every single picture in a group. Fucking, we don't know who you are or which one is you. So one picture in group or two is enough to show that you're social and extrovert. Now here comes a very important part to know what exactly your partner is looking for on Tinder. When you start a conversation on Tinder, ask in a very polite way and in a sarcastic manner, like, "Hey, um, what are your expect?" Expectations from Tinder. What are you expecting exactly on Tinder? Well, asking these kinds of questions actually makes your job pretty easy to know what exactly that person is expecting from Tinder. What kind of relationship they are wanting from Tinder, and you don't feel embarrassed or awkward. Oh my God, what kind of relationship she's expecting from Tinder? How can I ask? Just like that, you know? Just. Kidding. So the best way to ask anybody in a very smooth and polite manner is to ask them, "Hey, um, you're on Tinder. What are you expecting exactly from it?" That's it. Point number three: taking your Tinder conversations to another level. Woo, woo, woo. So let's just suppose you actually found a really, really quality person on Tinder, and it's pretty awkward to ask them for their WhatsApp number, searching them on Facebook or any other social media. So here's what you can do for this. You can ask the girl, um, "Hey, this app is too much slow. Like, it takes too much time to conversate with you." Another thing, what you can do for this is actually to ask the girl, "Hey, this application is too slow. Uh, in whatever, which like whichever application you are comfortable in, we can chat on that application. This will actually create mental bridges in her mind. Okay, this is a quality guy. He's taking care of my comfort level. He's asking me a choice. Nice guy." So let's just do a small recap. One photograph or two with your friend circles or in a group is enough to show that you are a social person. You are an extrovert. You don't need to mention that all in your bio or maybe putting all your photographs in groups. The best way to know what kind of relationship she is seeking is the best way to ask what exactly she is expecting from Tinder and to take conversation on another level. You should say. Uh, this application is too slow. It takes too much time to conversate with you. What kind of application you are comfortable with? We can chat over there. This will create mental bridges in your mind that you are a quality person and you are taking care of her comfort level as well. For more, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can even follow me on my Instagram, Chetna underscore Kalip. You can even follow me on Chetna Kalip community page and you can even email me. On Chitna Kalev 15192 at the way gmail.com for any flood date, love, relationship, friendship, or anything with your kind of question. Till then, take care, stay blessed. Mwah. Happy flood.